Hey everybody, Deb Chamorro Realtor here. I am in one of my favorite condo villages in Monroe County, Sherwood Green. I love the way that they had these set up. I think it was really smart. Every building is four units, and so each building kind of takes a corner of that. So they do a really good job of what walls are shared and also creating private spaces and private entrances. So we're at 1134 Regency. There is parking. I'll show you that. It kind of goes around and then there's a one car attached garage. Um, but it's got this, this is the front door, front entrance, but also your patio. But they do a good job again with sort of creating um, private space here. And the other thing I really love about Sherwood Green is that the landscaping is really lovely. There's lots of grass and uh, shrubs and trees and things. And so you really feel like a home and not just like an apartment. Um, everywhere you look, when you look out, you see uh, lots of green and I think that that's really nice as well. So this is a three bedroom unit. Um, it's a one story unit. Those are really, really popular and there's a couple different floor plans. So come on inside and I will show you this one. Okay, so this is the front door. So coming in, very large living room. Um, almost all of these units have really nice size living rooms where you can get a good amount of furniture in or very comfortable furniture. I don't feel like this photo really shows the full size of it. It is very long, but it's very wide. Um, so you can have a couch, a couple couches, um, a desk, TV, a puzzle table. I've always wanted a puzzle table, but anyways, that's a whole other story. Um, this hallway takes you to the bedrooms. This is a coat closet. Nothing exciting, just a coat closet. And then this way, so again, front door, this is your dining area. You've got great windows here. They're low, so if you have little dogs or cats, they can see out the windows. That's important, right? Um, but it also brings in great light. Um, I don't have the light on in this room at all, and it's nicely coming in. And then the kitchen uh, does have a countertop, so if you wanted to have some bar stools or just for serving, um, all the appliances are included as well. It's just been professionally cleaned. Then if you come around the corner, this is where your washer and dryer would be. And you've got some storage here. And then there's a half bath here. And then there's also a full bath over by the bedrooms. And I'll show you in here real quick. This takes you into the garage. I had so many of the lights turned on ahead of time. Uh, so one car garage. And then your furnace and your water heater out here as well. There is pull down stairs. And then let me show you, there is one small step up that's about maybe three or four inches. This step right here. Uh, the shower in the main bath I'll show you is um, accessible as well. So this is a great place to age in, uh, home to age in place if that's something you are looking for because you can get in with um, minimal stepping. Okay. We'll go around. So there's another. So we will come down here to the end of the hallway. This is probably the largest bedroom. Like I said, some of these units have two bedrooms. The bedrooms are a little bit bigger. Some have three, so they're not as big, but then you've got nice separate space for like a guest room and craft room, sewing room, office, something like that. And you don't have to share a guest room with an office space. So sometimes having those three bedrooms is nice. Go. Again, the large windows in here as well. Bedroom two. The other thing with how these condos are set up with the four, the building with four units and each one takes a corner means that you do have three bedrooms and they all have windows. Uh, sometimes some condos, especially townhouses we see, kind of there's some interior units that don't have as much um, window and natural light, but these do. So this is the second bedroom and then this is the third bedroom. These are pretty similar in size. And then this is the bathroom. So if you wanted to do some updates, you would have room for a double vanity or just lots of countertop space, which is what I like. And here is your ADA shower. Um, and it even has the seat, lots of bars. So ready to go for that. Okay, one more thing I wanna show you is just the outside parking area. 
So I'll be right back with that. I just wanted to show you kind of the other side. So this sidewalk is what you follow around to get to that front area. This is obviously the one car garage. And then you have two parking spaces. So my car is in one and then I'm standing in another that's right in front of the garage door. You can see the neighbors, one space, two spaces. And then there is a little bit of visitor parking down here at the end. These are strictly just for visitors. So you've got some good parking. A lot of people end up turning this into finished space. They kind of close it off if you needed more space. I personally like having the garage having a place for my car to go in the winter time and not having to put shoes on to go to the drive through at Taco Bell. That's my little secret. Anyways, come check out 1134 Regency in Sherwood Green.